Hello everybody, welcome back to The Great Ones channel, and today I'm going to be doing a film comparison on two of our Camp Bloodshot films, the one we made back in 2017 and the one we recently made in 2022, because these movies are basically the same. Same characters, same story, same deaths, even the same ending, because the 2022 version is basically just a remake of what we did back in 2017, except we tried to improve on it a little bit more, we tried to improve on like the death, chase scenes, and the editing, and just all that stuff. We tried to make it better than what we did before, and that's why I thought it'd be fun to compare both movies and see how they like differ from each other and how they're kind of the same and I know I, I had a really good time filming both these movies so I thought it'd be fun talking about them and comparing them and thought it'd be a really fun video that's all I have to say so without further ado let's get started with this comparison The 2017 version starts off with Alice Hardy played by Lucy trying to get away from Jason Voorhees and when it looks like she's about to escape, Jason gives her a good slice in the back, knocking her to the ground, until she grabs a bop it and slams it into his face, unmasking him and revealing his ugly ass face. Alice then pushes a pillow into his face until she gets knocked out by Jason's machete. Jason is then seen holding a bag with Alice crushed inside of it and then starts slamming her to the ground multiple times, giving her a couple stabs as she screams in pain, and that's our opening of Camp Blood. The 2022 version starts off with Alice Hardy, played by Jason's sister Jess, trying to get away from Jason. Jason Voorhees. Alice is struggling to unlock a door, but when she finally does, she looks through the peephole, and we get a really cool shot of Jason looking through the peephole, menacingly. When she thinks everything's okay, Jason pops up and tries to slice her, but then she dodges and punches him in the face, and then she trips over. Jason then stabs her multiple times, and then walks away to grab a sleeping bag, stuffs her in the sleeping bag, and then slams her to the ground multiple and multiple times, and then gives her one good stab at the end, concluding our opening to Camp Blood. The 2017 version definitely went a little too quick and I think there could have been more going on with Jason and Alice. It could have been a lot more bloody and brutal and stuff and Jason getting hit by a bop it looked kind of stupid and the bag meant to be pretending that that's meant to be Alice and that bag getting slammed looks a bit you know unbelievable and Jason doing Lucy's screaming looks kind of sounded really stupid but the 2022 version was definitely an improvement felt more intense the music sounded better it was a lot more bloodier and more brutal and the, you know the sleeping bag having to pretend that that's Alice in that sleeping bag looked really really cool it was just a bunch of pillows and stuff but overall it looked really really cool and really impressive and therefore the 2022 opening was the best opening. When we meet our main characters in the 2017 version, it is really, really awkward and weird, and there's a bunch of cat fighting going on, and it's just really, really, really strange. But in the 2022 version, when we meet our main characters, they're just kind of having a normal conversation about the camp that they're about to go to and what it's going to be like, and it's just normal. Definitely an improvement, thank God. In the 2017 version, when our main characters find Camp Crystal Lake, it is basically just a house. It's definitely not a camp it's just a house but when they go in the backyard they find chairs and that's about it that's like the only camp related stuff they find but in the 2022 version it looks like the outside of a house until they make it to the backyard where it is like a full camp area you got you got seats you got you got a fire blaze you got a tent it is a full-on camp area so that, that was definitely an improvement in the 2017 version, Jason does kill Crazy Ralph, and it's okay. Jason goes for a slice, Crazy Ralph dodges, Jason pushes Crazy Ralph to the bin, and then slams him into the bin, which, you know, filming that was pretty shocking, but overall, it looked, it looked alright. But in the 2022 version, Crazy Ralph does get killed, and this time around, he gets his hand sliced off, which looked really, really fucking cool, and then pushed it into the wall, stabbed in the gut, slammed, like, pushed into the bin, and then fell to the ground, and that's where Jason finds his mask, and... Yeah, it was definitely an improvement. It was a really, really cool scene. When we finally get our first chase scene in the 2017 version, it's kind of average. It starts off with Bro trying to fight Jason with a chair, like really trying to fight him with a chair, and it doesn't work out. Then they try to get away, but there's a gate in the way, and then Jason uses a chair to not let them get past them, and he tries to slice them with the machete. It looks kind of weird, and then he trips over, and then my character hits him with a bottle, and that's the end of the first chase scene. That was alright. That was alright. But in the 2022 version, oh my god, it starts off with my character getting choked to death, 
Bro comes in and punches Jason in the face, and then he gets stabbed in the gut, and then I punch Jason, and then he hits, Bro hits Jason with a, a fucking laundry basket, and then we try to run away, and Bro's fucking performance is fucking awesome, and he's screaming, we're all screaming, it's, it's really intense, and then, uh, you know, Bro tries to attack Jason, it doesn't work out, they keep running, the music sounds awesome, it sounds really intense and crazy, and, you know, we got Bro saying shit balls, and then they try to get away, we're screaming and trying to open the gates, it's really intense and crazy, and then, you know, we have a, me and Jason have a bit of a fight with a broom, and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's insane, it was a really cool chase scene, and it kind of ends with Jason talking to his mother, hearing his mother's, mother's voice, and it, that was really cool, this was a great chase scene, it was really fun, kind of intense, and uh, just awesome, it was really cool. In the 2017 version, me and Bo's character return to take down Jason Voorhees once and for all. And when he finally shows up, we become pussies and run away and scream like little little girls. And uh, instead, we take him down with a beanbag, and that fucking works. It unmasks him, and uh, yeah, that's about it. And that's the big fight of the movie, everybody. Damn. But in the 2022 version, we do come back with a bunch of weapons and are all crazy and stuff, but this time we actually have a big fight. We fight Jason, there's a bunch of gunshots and everything, we got Bo getting stabbed multiple times, it is really cool, it, it's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. You, they take off his mask in a really cool way, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more bloodier, it's really, really cool, and uh, Bo ends up stabbing Jason multiple times, like how little, little Tommy did in the final chapter, it's great. In the 2017 version, Jason does kill me. He basically just stuffs my face into a toilet, uh, flushes the toilet, and then I basically drown, I guess, while it's flushing. It's a really silly death scene, but it was we were really proud of it when we first did it. We were really proud of the death scene that in the 2022 version, we decided to do it again, recreate the death scene once again. But this time around, it feels less silly and more dark and kind of disturbing. Like you got the heartbeat sound effects in, in, the, in the background instead of just normal music. And in my performance, I tried to make it a little more like me actually freaking out and scared. Uh, so I, it's a lot more serious and darker in the 2022 version than it is in the 2017 version. And there's multiple shots while I'm getting killed. And I don't know, I like it more in the 2022 version. I think it's, you know, the same death scene, but definitely improved and a little more disturbing. I kind of like it. In the 2017 version, Bo does get killed by Jason, but before that, he almost gets away, and then Jason fucking throws his machete at his back, and it doesn't really stab him, it just kind of hits his back, and he falls to the ground, and it's kind of dark, and you can't really see anything, but Jason's holding a basketball, and he crushes his head, but it cuts away. Come on, man. But don't worry, in the 2022 version, Jason does throw his machete again, but this time, it goes right through him, it goes right through Bo, and it looks fucking awesome. Um, and then Jason picks up a shovel, um, uh, originally, to make it sound better, he was actually going to hold an axe. Yeah, he was going to hold an axe, but he wasn't able to. We didn't have an axe to use at the time, so instead he had to hold a shovel. Um, and yeah, we get this really cool shot of Jason holding the shovel. It looks really cool. Uh, he goes up the bow. We get this really cool reverse shot of Jason hitting Bo in the head with the shovel. There's blood going everywhere. We get this really cool montage of tomato sauce, blood going everywhere. It does cut away still, but come on, it's so much better than the original. The ending to the 2017 version is Tommy Jarvis showing up to Camp Crystal Lake to kill Jason. He witnesses my body with a really loud jump scare sound. Jason shows up, he attacks Tommy and uh, puts him, you know, into the shower and uh, Tommy's arm turns on the hot water for some reason, I don't know why. And uh, yeah, he gets, you know, killed by the hot water. There's obvious tomato sauce going everywhere. And then the last shot of the movie is just an eerie shot of um, Jason's bloody mask just chilling in the shower. And I guess that's the ending to the 2017 version. What the fuck? But in the 2022 version, it's basically almost the exact same. Yeah, Tommy shows up to Camp Crystal Lake to kill Jason. He witnesses my body, there's a jump scare sound, Jason shows up, but instead of pushing him into the shower, he grabs Tommy's gun, aims it at his head, and makes him shoot himself, which should have killed him, but nope, he was still kicking. He kind of, Jason starts slamming his head against the, the shower, and then starts choking him a little bit, and then pushes him into the shower, and turns on the hot water, and that kills him. So yeah, the death in 2022 version is a lot more over the top and brutal, and yeah, just better overall. And of course, the last shot of the movie, is Jason walking out of Camp Crystal Lake or the house and just walking away with music from Cold Chucky playing in the background as Jason just walked away into the darkness. Very simple, but honestly, a way more badass last shot ending than what we got in the 2017 version where it was just some weird eerie shot of Jason's mask chilling in the shower. 
And overall, let's be honest here, the 2022 version of Camp Blood is so much better compared to the 2017 version, 100%. There is no doubt about that. Alrighty guys, this is going to be the end of my film comparison on Camp Blood and Camp Blood. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, look, no matter what I've said about the 2017 version, I still enjoyed filming that movie. I, feel, I enjoyed filming both of these movies. Uh, I remember being super proud of the 2017 version, but now we have the 2022 version. We have better death scenes and everything. Like, I, have, I didn't even talk about Crazy Ralph's extended death scene where his fucking head, head gets twisted around and shit. Like, how fucking cool is that? That was pretty cool. And yes, the 2022 version was definitely an improvement. And uh, yeah, but I, I, I enjoyed filming both these movies. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this film comparison. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Yes. Yes. Kill for mother.